How do you deal with problems that you have with your friends or maybe your spouse? How do you work with them to resolve the matter? In the worst of times, when your relationship seems to be weakened by circumstances beyond your control, how do you rebuild your relationship? In his letter to the Hebrews, Paul knew that his readers knew a lot about the law. They would have known well the story of the Exodus and how God used Moses to lead his people out of Egypt. They knew how he had given Moses his law, written on tables of stone on Mount Sinai. They would have remembered the tabernacle in the wilderness and Solomon's temple. And it's very possible that many of them would have even visited Herod's temple in Jerusalem at least once in their lifetime. All of them would have partaken in the ritual of sacrifice and sh to shed the blood of innocent animals on their own behalf as atonement for sin. But Paul wanted to make sure that they understood that none of that meant that they were saved. You see, in the Old Covenant with Abraham, God had given them their birthright as his children, and then to Moses, God had called them his holy nation and priesthood. Paul, who in Philippians chapter 3, verse 5, says he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews, and as touching the law, a Pharisee, knew what he was talking about when he said that all those sacrifices could not atone for one single human sin. This is why in the book of Hebrews, Paul stresses that in Christ, there is a better priesthood, a better covenant based on better sacrifices and a better promise. The whole theme of Hebrews could really be summarized in these words, Jesus is better. Paul was taking a risk when talking to his Jewish friends about the Melchizedek priesthood because this priesthood was really before the establishment of the nation of Israel. And Paul wanted them, and by extension us, to understand that our need for a priest, not from the tribe of Levi, means that the entire Jewish nation had to look outside of themselves for protection and salvation. Paul knew that this would require a profound change in not just how they viewed the law, but how they tried to apply it. Jesus, as high priest of the order of Melchizedek, asks us to not only recognize that we need his saving grace, but also that we need a heart change too. We cannot merely accept him as our savior from sin, but we must also accept him as Lord and master of our lives. And really, in his hands, is the very best place for our lives to be.